My neighborhood postman is the friendliest person I know, and his strength is incredible. He's a real superhero, so today I'm drawing him the Marvel way. I'm Aletha Martinez, and I'm a comic book artist. I pencil and ink for Marvel, and once in a very rare while, I color. For over 20 years, I've drawn just about every Marvel character, from Black Panther to X-Men to Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. I'm drawing my friend J.D. Rosario to celebrate him as an essential worker and a real hero. J.D. is my friendly neighborhood postman. I keep him very busy delivering packages because I work from my home studio. I have never seen him without a great big smile on his face. He always goes above and beyond to help, just like the old motto says, rain or shine. I bet the people down at the post office have a million and one crazy stories. It really does seem like an issue of a comic book. Today's latest adventures of the postman. I have never seen JD upset or act in any way other than professional and jovial. With his hectic schedule ferrying dozens upon dozens of packages where they need to go, I don't know how he manages to stay so upbeat. People might not realize this, but during the pandemic, postal workers have had to deliver the ashes of people who have died to their loved ones. The day he told me about the sensitive aspect of his job started like any other, with one of his super respectful, Hi, Miss Martinez. We started talking about our jobs and he told me something I could never have imagined would be a part of a postman's duties. Shortly after COVID-19 had ramped up in New York, he picked up his daily deliveries and there was a box of cremains waiting. It happened over and over again. Where is the manual for how to steal oneself for such a duty? How do you go about it even one time, let alone repeat it? JD admitted that it took a toll on him as he spoke, his eyes glassed a bit and he took on a thousand yard stare. His voice quieted, but his uplifting smile was still there. JD is exactly what you picture in your mind when you think of a postman, friendly and unassuming, like an alter ego. We would never suspect what he had in him, let alone what he has to do. I'm drawing JD in a way that I hope really helps us as outsiders to see and understand while we go about our daily lives there are quiet sobering moments happening in thresholds where your regular postman bears the extraordinary responsibility of being the voice of comfort when a loved one finally comes home for the drawing i tried to picture that moment at the door when there are no smiles just the solemn quiet I used postal colors on JD's costume, but I didn't have to change a thing about the man's countenance. Even how JD combs his hair looks like a hero's. Every day my friend gets up and gets ready for work, not knowing if he will have to deliver any special cargo, let alone how many times for the day. Like many things during this COVID-19 crisis, it's become a part of his life. He does this with his heart on his sleeve and the compassion that I see shining in his smile without fail. Now that's power. During this pandemic, our essential workers have been asked, no required, to sacrifice for all of us, no matter what toll it takes on them, even if it ends up costing their lives. How could that ever be repaid? To JD, thank you for standing fast. Thank you for dealing patiently with all of us cranky, impatient, regular folks who just didn't know what your day-to-day -day was like. And most of all, thank you for your service.